This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this exercise, I'm going to calculate hair dynamics. So I've loaded the Sydney G2 figure in the scene here, and I've applied the stranded hair that goes with her figure. And I've done a quick render then just to show the default settings for the hair. So I'll come into the preview window here, and you can see the guide hairs showing for each one of the hair sections. This particular hair model is divided up into five sections, so I need to change the dynamic settings for each section. So firstly, I'll make sure that the right part of Sydney is selected. So I'll come down to the props drop down menu here, and I'll make sure the Sydney follicle is selected because that is the prop that the hair groups are applied to. So if I just drop down the list here, you can see the five different settings. So I'll click on right bangs to begin. And then I'll come over to the Dynamics Controls palette here, and I'll change some of the settings. So the first one I'll change is Gravity. I'll change that to minus 0 0.003 instead of what it is at the moment. I did change it by using the text box there, but it's actually appearing off the screen. I'll leave the spring strength as it is, and I'll change Air Damping then to 1, and Spring Damping to 1. I'll also change Position Force and Root Stiffness. So I'll change both of those to point 0.1. Now these two settings will act together and they actually will behave like hairspray on the hair and stop it moving around just a little bit too much. So that's the first bang set. So I'll go to the second bang, the left bangs, and I'll change the gravity value again, minus 0 0.003, air damping to 1, spring damping to 1, and position force to point 0.1 and root stiffness to 0.1. And I'll just work through each one in turn now. Right side again, gravity, minus 0 0.003, air damping 1, spring damping 1, position force 0.1, and root stiffness 0.1. And again, the left side, Gravity minus 0 0.003, air damping 1, spring damping 1, position force 0.1, root stiffness 0.1. And then there's the back, the same gravity settings there, minus 0 0.003, air damping 1, spring damping 1, position force 0.1 and root stiffness 0.1. And I'll just make sure I have actually adjusted all of those settings. Right bangs, left bangs, right side, left side, and back. So, I just need to calculate the new forces, then the new dynamics for each section. So, starting with the right bangs, I just click on the Calculate Dynamics button, and I get a little progress box appear. You can see the guide hairs changing in the scene already. That's that side done. And then left bangs. See, that's also affecting the side I've just worked on. And the right side, Calculate Dynamics. Left side, Calculate Dynamics. And then on the back. And then I'll just re-render the scene as it stands. As you can see, that's made a subtle alteration to the hairstyle. It's made it look a little bit more wet, or as if the bouffant style it had before has collapsed slightly. And it's changed the bangs on the front of her face as well. So if I just wipe between the two images there, you can see how much alteration the gravity settings have made. And also the air and damping values are set now to high positive values, and this acts to resist the effects of the gravity on the hair. And the spring strength value means that the hair will spring slightly as it comes back to its top position, and the position force and root stiffness will act together to try and keep the hairs in an upright position and make it stay in its general shape. 
So you can create fairly subtle effects with the dynamics controls for the stranded hair models.